Welcome. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, what I'd like to do is talk to you about the properties of equality. Now remember, when, we, when I kind of went over the basics of what exactly an equation, an equation is when you have the left side equal to the right side. And we state that equal with that equal sign, right? So when we're using the properties of equalities, what the properties of equality allow us to do is to create equivalent equations. And I talked about equivalent equations. And let's say I say x is equal to 5. Well, if I add 1 to both sides, what am I doing? We, the value of x is still 5, right? These equations are equivalent. The value of x is still 5. They look different, right? They're in different formats, but the value is still the same. So we use the properties of equality to produce equivalent equations so that we can solve for our variable. Um, so for instance, rather than having a problem like this, let's say I had a problem like this. And I say, I need to get this variable by itself. So I use the inverse operation, right? So it's x plus 1 minus 1 equals 6. Well, think about this. Let's forget this, actually, for a second. Think about what the value is, what the solution is right now. X, some number plus 1 equals 6. We know that number is 5, right? So if I, though, undo 1 on the left side, then I get x equals 6. We know 6 plus 1 is not equal to 6. So by using our properties of equality, whenever I apply the operation, the inverse operation on one side, I have to make sure I apply it on the other side. Therefore, I get x is equal to 5. So basically, the division properties of equality pretty much mean when you use your inverse operation on one side of the equal sign, you have to use it on the other side. And there's four basic division properties of equality that we're going to be working through. The division property of equality the multiplication property of equality, the addition property of equality, and the subtraction property of equality. And I always think it's helpful when I'm applying these, um, especially when I'm first getting started, is to write out the properties that I'm applying. So therefore, if I make a mistake, or um, if I make a mistake, I can either quickly point out where I made it, or my teacher can as well. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is just a quick little tutorial on what exactly are the properties of equality. Thanks.